Hello everybody, it's Barbara, and I just got back, oh, last night from a week-long trip, and um, today I want to talk about transitions. You know, in my mind, on the way back, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to do this and this and this and this when I get home, and you know, I'm a go-getter, I'm going to do stuff, and I got home and I did the bare minimum. And then I thought, well, this morning, Monday morning, I'm going to, I'm going to go work out for, you know, an hour, hour and a half, and we're going to do, do, do. You know what? Transitions are really important. Instead of going from this to this with nothing in between, just boom, boom, we need to have that transitional space where we can collect ourselves our thoughts, our feelings, we got a process. And my guys told me it was really important for me to share how I feel um, about this. And you know, my son taught me this a lot too. The transition of going from mom's house to dad's house. It's not just boom, boom, there needs to be a transition. Um, there needs to be a transition from a trip to back to <laughs> real life, whatever that means. Um, or Sunday to Monday, or just, you know, five o'clock at work to 5.30 at home. We need to have a transition. And we need to make sure that we understand how truly important it is. Because that's a time when we can, we can come down from our day, or our trip, or whatever it is. We, we, we set our intentions for the next period of time we work on manifesting what it is we want for that time. Um, and so you need to know how important those transitions are. Do not ever take them lightly. Um, you know, one of the issues I have living in the same building as where I work is I don't get that transition from work to home, from home to work. I literally walk through a door. Um, I don't get that drive time where you start thinking about your day and you start manifesting and you're, oh, I got to call Bob and I got to meet with John and I got to, um, where should I have lunch today? Oh, I forgot to pack, you know, I mean, all that stuff, there, there's a transition and, um, you really have to make the transition up here instead of a physical transition. So they just wanted me to make sure that everybody's aware of how important that transition is, whatever it means to you. Um, so that's why I didn't work out this morning. Um, I did what I wanted to do. Actually, I snuggled with Althea. She's right there on the floor. Um, we snuggled a lot this morning because she was really happy to be back in her own space. Um, she, she was very stressed out this past week. She stayed in a hotel room for the first time. She traveled in a car a lot. Um, she sat in the car a lot. We never left her alone in, alone in the uh, hotel room because I just, that's, I don't feel like that's fair to her or the other people. Um, so she spent a lot of time in the car. And when we got in the building last night here, she ran around and she was just so happy. She had this big smile on her face. It was like, oh, I'm home. Yay. I don't have to be in that car anymore. <laughs> anyway. We're back, and I just thought I would show off some goodies that came. Um, I'm gonna start over here because I'm gonna leave that for the last. So, um, I picked up this big chunk of black tourmaline. Now, these are things that are going to be available in my shop starting today. Um, this is a big piece of black tourmaline. Isn't it fabulous? It's got a little, little glitter to it. So if you need some grounding, um, this is also really good for EMF, you know, if the computers, the cell phones, the overhead lights. Um, this is an amazing stone. I got one for myself too. Um, I also got a bunch of smaller ones, you know. I wouldn't put this in my pocket necessarily because it can, um, Pieces of it can come off, um, but this is really good. Put one by your computer, by your TV, by your stereo, by where you work. Um, let this absorb those EMF, electromagnetic field 
um, radiations so you don't have to, okay? So there's those. Let me set those on the floor. I've had a lot of people ask me, and I've been out, um, for Icelandic spar or calcite. This is the Viking stone. Um, supposedly they use this, you know, they'd hold it up to the sun. Um, we did get a whole bunch, um, small pieces to pretty good sized chunks. Okay. So we got some of that. These are always cool. These fossils. And I was going <laughs> to write down the name of it because I, I forgot already and I forgot to write down the name. Um, these are squid fossils from the Sahara Desert. So if that doesn't tell you there was water there, I don't know what does. But we got a bunch of these. These are so cool. Squid fossils from the Sahara Desert. I mean, that's pretty good size, too. Okay, so we got that. We also got some gorgeous aragonite. Come on, don't focus on me. Isn't that beautiful? So we got a bunch of those. Okay. I bought one of these for myself. And then I went, you know what? I know people that would also like one of these. So I bought two extras when I was gone. You ready? Who loves unicorns? This is red calcite. And the unicorn can stand like this, so it's rearing up, or it can stand on all fours like it's running. And I'm just gonna show you This thing is huge. <laughs> there's this one, and there's this one. If you're interested in one of these, we have two available. This one has a little bit more yellow in it. This one has a little bit more red. I know it's hard to see because I'm wearing orange also. So come on into my shop. Or if you're interested in one of the unicorns, this is the one that has a little bit of yellow in it. This is the one that's more red. Um, I will hold them for up to one week, okay? Um, so message me. But these are so fabulous. You know me and unicorns. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff in my personal collection while I was gone. And let's just say the back of my car went down when they loaded the rocks. <laughs> How cool is that? Um, so I get to play with those all week. And, you know, I might show them off at some point, but they're not for sale. It's ridiculous. I got this beautiful. I just got to tell you, I got this beautiful. She's about this tall. This angel made out of petrified wood. She called to me from across the room. She was up high on this shelf looking down at me and I was like, yeah, she came home with me. Anyway, I'm back. I'm transitioning back into this normal life, normal, whatever that means. And uh, so be kind, <laughs> I'm trying to get back into the flow. Um, so um, come on in. If there's something you saw that you want me to hold, like I said, just let me know and I will do that. Otherwise, I will see you here. We are back to normal hours, 10 a.m. ish to 5 p.m. ish, Monday through Friday and Saturdays, 10 a.m. ish to 3 p.m. ish. And you know, depending on how busy we are, yeah, sometimes 3 p.m. ish ends up being 4.30. So it's okay, all right? I love you guys. I send you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, divine health, and all good things because I know you're worthy and I know you deserve it all. Mwah!
good to be back.